U.S. Army Corps of Engineers National District employees at Fort Loudon Lock are hosting local stakeholder groups to teach them about what it takes to lock through a lock chamber. They're also covering topics of interest about what it takes to operate and maintain a navigation lock. Members of the Fort Loudon Yacht Club, Teleco Village New Villagers, and Christian Academy of Knoxville homeschoolers enjoyed seeing the lock up close and spent lots of time interacting with Corps of Engineers employees as part of the lock's public outreach event. It helps everyone. These sorts of things allow people to understand where not only their tax dollars go, so that way they can understand what we're doing, but also helps people to be more confident in their movements. And also, especially with uh, the, the children and the school groups, it gives them kind of a sense of accomplishment and wonder of what else could I possibly do with this? People ask all the time, what would I have done with algebra or math? This. This is what you do with math. This is what you can build with math. This is what you can do with all sorts of things. And you just have to get them to start thinking about it and intrigue them to it. And that way we can actually start training our replacements because we're not going to be here forever. When we, when we get ready to fill it up, we close these valves, we open up those valves, the filling valves, and then we let gravity fill it back up. If you guys want to come over this way, you can actually see where our discharge is at and actually see all the water coming out. Teleco Village is a local retirement community with a yacht club and private docks, so their newest residents are likely to utilize the lock when boating between Fort Loudon and Watts Bar Lakes. The Villagers organization is for, as the name implies, is for people that are new to the area. And uh, so we do a lot of different events to help people become familiar with what is in the area. Uh, some of these people have boats and may possibly want to go through the lock at some point. Local boaters with the Fort Loudon Yacht Club that routinely travel up and down the river gained a better understanding of how lock operators work to ensure safety and why it can take extra time for commercial tows and barges to move through the navigation lock. I think everybody needs to be cognizant that uh, there's a crew up here working and, and they're trying to do everything they can do to keep us as boaters safe, be patient. Um, and, and be big advocates um, for the Corps of Engineers and what they're doing to help us enjoy the beautiful waterways. The homeschoolers were a smaller group, but had a large interest in how the lock operated, about career fields available in the Corps of Engineers, and what vocations were represented at the lock. I got to learn all about the um, Army uh, Corps of Engineers. I had no idea about that group um, and the park rangers. So I think um, history mixed with the science is really cool. All three groups learned that it's important to have patience as the Corps of Engineers works to move boats safely and efficiently through the lock. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the National District at Fort Loudon Lock on the Tennessee River in Lenore City, Tennessee.